Welcome back to the channel guys. Now it's been a while since I've done a Yu-Gi-Oh unboxing so I apologize but to be very honest there really isn't much Yu-Gi-Oh product to unbox not unless I keep unboxing the same things over and over again. And to be very honest I think my luck has run out with Ghosts from the past. Once again big shout out to Team APS for featuring them for featuring myself in their layer in the whole video. I'm very grateful for that. So for those of you guys who joined my channel through that video, I thank you so much. And here's my next Yu-Gi-Oh unboxing that I'm gonna do right now after Ghost from the Past. And for those of you who didn't know, at the very beginning of this TCG journey, I promised myself that I wouldn't become a TCG channel, Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. Um, let me know what you guys think of this whole unboxing Yu-Gi-Oh cards thing. I really don't want to make my channel an unboxing channel of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm good. That's what I'm gonna do when I start buying boxes. Like, I don't want to be a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. That's too much of an investment. But, oh, here I am. So, let's get started of this unboxing with Ancient Guardians. So, to be very honest, um, I'm not really hyped about this set. Um, I'm gonna probably blow through this very quickly um, because there's not really any cards in here that I want. Uh, the, the, I don't know, the, the, the Do Re Mi Waifu uh, engine doesn't appeal to me at all because I hate pendulums. I don't think pendulums are a good type of uh, system at all. Um, the uh the snake thing the oga doga serpent thing does not appeal to me at all Let's just tear this open so yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna i'm gonna burn through this box fairly quickly um i mean the only thing i have in here that i think is like worth pulling for myself is maybe a star starlight rare um that, that's all i can think of you know i've yet to pull a star right I've yet to pull Starlight Raider, so let's just get right to it. Let's just power through this right now. Oh, they're all rares. Cool, that's good. Pretty cool. Viper's Rebirth, Wavering Eyes. I can't read that. The Lighting Reptile. Oh, here's one of them. Let's try to read that. I can't read it because... Oh, there we go. Venomanamana Naga, the Deity of the Poisonous Snakes. Water Dragon and Earth Stick Viper. Oh, that, okay, that looks cool. Or Stardick Mika Polar. I can't. Okay. I don't think I can say any of these. I'm so sorry. Guys. I don't think I can say any of these names. Is the money card in the very back? Oh, probably. Oh, there you go. Oh, dude. There you go. So, I don't know if any of these waifus are worth collecting for me. Re Sofala Cordremia. Okay. Whatever. Another damage red pot. Wavering eyes. Earthstick Mega Polar. That is a pretty cool actually. That looks like a Gundam. That's actually really cool. Okay, and Sulfa Chord Harmonia. Okay. So the Sulfa Chord um, archetype looks cool to me, but if only it wasn't a um if only it wasn't a uh, pendulum. I don't know. I I never saw pendulums, even when they were first released. When I first opened the Duelist Alliance packs. Cool, we got Skullmeister, which I could have held off on buying some online. Cool, put that to the side. I wish, and King of Fair Aims, no point in that, no point in the train in. Hurstic Slider, okay, whatever, cool. Um, if only um, Pendulums were better. I don't know, when I first opened Duelist Alliance and they introduced Pendulums, so like the Quill Force and like the Odd Eyes, like Pendulum Dragon, that was cool. Um, my buddy built a pendulum deck and it worked very well against me, but that's because we were unfamiliar if we were using the arch archetype at all. And in all honesty, it wasn't really worth anything to me back then and it's not worth anything to me now. Snake Rain. Oh my god, that's so creepy. Snake Rain. Sulfur Cord Elegance. See, that, see, that's great artwork. So they're obviously pandering to the waifu fan base, such as myself, but in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the most important thing is playability. Can these cards help me win locals? And from what I'm seeing online and from what I'm observing with this system, it doesn't look like it's going to be winning any tournaments anytime soon. Serpents, 
another Oda Dragon, Odaidic, Odadic, and another Mikopolar. Looks like I'm building Urs Ur Ursa Arctic Mikopolar. I've been working 10 hours every day, guys, okay? I can't pronounce any of these. If there's anything I'm looking forward to in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh! product in the future, I'll buy the God Structure decks later. If there's anything that I'm looking for in the far future, it's the uh, King's Court uh, booster box. I got two of those on pre-order. So hopefully I can open that for you guys soon. Another Soul of Court Harmonia. Or them Starlight Rares. Give me them Starlight Rares, man. I feel bad. Good thing I only bought one of these because I don't think there's anything in here that I want. Another Skullmeister, Staple Door. Oh, uh, cool. Another Pankertop. Okay, okay. It's Staples go in the right corner for me. And oh, here we go. Dull Slough Oak Cord Cutia. Okay, that, okay, that's cute. All right. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> that's all I have to say. Like, she's cute. I don't know what her background is, nothing. She just plays music. I see what they're trying to do though. You know, they're pendulums, they play music, you're playing the scale, you know what I mean? I, I get that. But I don't think it's anything, I don't think it's gonna be a deck that I'm gonna be building anytime soon. When it comes to the King's Core uh, booster box, Water Lily. When it comes to the King's Core booster box that's coming in, I think in August, uh, I'm really looking forward to that because out of Yugi's archetypes or out of Yugi's Yugi Moto's engines, I really loved the Jack Queen King uh, Warriors. I thought that was super cool. So the King's Knight, Queen's Knight, and now there's gonna be Joker Knight, which is gonna be cool. Pot of Riches. What's Pot of Riches do? Shuffle three Pendulum Monsters into the deck. I'm going to stop reading. <laughs> it's not something I could use. Altaria the Oda Dre Dark. I don't, know, I don't know what the point of the set was. If people were trying to scout this set, I'm sorry, but I don't think there's anything worth playing with in here except for the Dinosaur and Panker Tops. I mean, they're Starlight Rares of Staples, which I think is cool. Okay, here we go. My second one, Soul of Floor Accord Grazie. That's, okay, that little ghost she has there, that's adorable. Cool, cool. Ooh, almost threw these cards in the garbage can. <laughs> my arm, my arm went this way, and usually when my arm goes right, it means I'm throwing away um, the wrapper. <laughs> I almost got all the cards and threw them in the trash. I think my body's trying to tell me something. Tradings are good. Cool. Like, are there any hand traps in here that could help my deck? Aaron. The old Dratic King. Cool, Aaron. What's up? Alright. Still looking for that elusive secret rare. Another serpent, another train in. Oh, oh, yo! Okay, this box was worth. I got a. I think that's a starlight rare textured trade in. Yo! Ooh, I need to clean my nails. I am putting my fingers on it because the texture. Whoa! Oh, oh, okay. Okay, this box was worth it. Oh, I got three tradings in my third one. Ooh, very, very nice. Okay, made my money back. I got, dude, my luck hasn't run out, man. I get a ghost or a dark magician, get starlight rare on my next booster box. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to be a great YouTube channel in the future. <laughs> Give me another one. I don't think it's possible to get multiple starlight rares. Okay, Lost Lacord Angel and Angelia. Okay, she's cool too. You know, I might I might keep these in my my. I have a waifu binder. Don't judge me. Like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, I have a waifu binder, and so I'm just gonna combine together and be like, look at this harem. Look at all these goyles. Sounds really wrong, I know. Cool. I'm pretty hyped. Nice. Starlight Rare Trading. Let's go. Let's get through the rest of these. I think we got the idea. Caduce uh, the autodratic light. Yeah, let's get through the rest of these guys. We already I coined the video right now. I tried I didn't I tried not to scream too loud because right now it's 2 30 a.m. and I gotta get through this. It's like the only time for me to really record anything at night. 
another water lily. Dreamia, cool. All right, congrats to myself. Starlight rare, I'm not sure if I can get another starlight. If I got another starlight rare, which I know is probably impossible, then yeah, be one happy campa. That's what Ronnie Coleman would say. Be one, one happy campa. Okay, here we go. Here's the boss monster for the Odetic Overlord. Yeah, this is the boss monster. Cool, 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 cool. Kind of, I was actually thinking about opening this box off camera just because I didn't feel like recording, but I'm glad I didn't because it's good to have staples and it's good to open things that are really nice. New new auto dragon remnant. Why do I have so many random cards to the right here? Okay, I'm gonna lightly. I wonder if I should get this graded. Let me know what you guys think. Should I get this thing graded? I'm sending in a graded. I'm sending in cards to PSA to get graded at the end of the month. I need to send five more. I need to figure out five more cards to get graded. I think that might be one of them since trading is such a generic card since I got so many of them already. And another Soul of Cord Grazia. Okay. For those, since I got two of those, I'm going to figure out which one of those I'm going to keep. And the other one, I'll see if my friends are building a Dread Pendulum deck. Get through the rest of these. I don't know why they put King of the Feral Imps in here. Another Mika Polar. Is this like my third one? I can't tell. That polar bear thing. Oof. I know I should sleeve this, but I'm, I'm down to four packs left. Let me, let's just get through this. Let's get this over with because oh, 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 the Panker Tops. Nice. Panker Tops is a really good card. card. Oh, okay. Dos Lofor Cord Coolia. Okay. See? I, okay, I'll, I'll I'll sleeve those, I'll sleeve the girls up, and then I'll put them in my waifu binder. I think towards the end of summer, I will do a full TCG update to show you what's in my collector's binder and what I have saved up in terms of what I've had built over time. I have more decks built in Pokemon than I do Yu-Gi-Oh now. I'm not sure that's a good or bad thing. Another Nunu. And, um... I'm addicted to buying Ultimate Guard and Dragon Shield. I bought from a distributor at one point, and so I have enough sleeves and deck boxes to like pretty much have me loaded up for the rest of the year. Staples go to the right. Ersturic Mikatanus. Last two packs. Is there gonna be a last packs magic? We don't know. Last pack on oh, Skullmeister, nice. I bought Skullmeisters online, man. I'm so upset about that. Another cutie. She is cute. I bought, I bought three Skullmeisters online because I, I needed them for one of my decks. And now I get them in this set. Thanks. Wasting my money. No, this, this box wasn't a waste of money. Don't worry. Okay, last pack magic. What do we got? What do we got? Another... Oda Dragon Dark. Cool. I call it Oda Dragon because I'm Monster Hunter. Alright, so I think the big highlight is this trade in here. Let's show off my camera skills and just zoom in really tight on this one. Oh, oh, don't look at my nails. I'm very self conscious about those. This is a really nice card. Looks very nice in the light. Looks like the little dragon's like popping out on my end. I'm pretty happy, guys. Well, thank you for watching this unboxing. This was a big win on my end. Hope you guys are here for the next Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. I got a box of Lightning Overdrive waiting for me behind me. Stay tuned for that one. Be safe out there and stay gold, guys.